Good afternoon traders and welcome to the Hot Stocks Outlook for September 30th, 2016. So we have quickly come to the end of the third quarter. There's really been some tremendous trading opportunities for equities traders in the really months of July, August, with things getting a little shakier in the month of September, uh, but still stocks doing very, very well. Now, uh, what I wanna do is actually highlight how traders are utilizing the Vantage Point Inner Market Analysis software to really identify trading opportunities and really manage them effectively moving forward to make sure that they're really making the most out of each and every opportunity uh, where they put their money at risk. Now, uh, I have a symbol here for Finisar, F-N-S-R. I've typed in my symbol here, and I'm gonna actually search for this via the market tree here. And uh, I'm gonna open up this properties tab so you guys can really understand how this technology works and how it's giving traders an edge in the marketplace. Now, Vantage Point performs what's called intermarket analysis. And it does this utilizing a type of artificial intelligence called neural networks. Now. Neural networks are able to analyze huge amounts of market data and find those significant market relationships. Now, in this example, what we're looking at here is uh, these are the 30 intermarkets that are known to drive and influence and impact the target market here. So what we're looking at are, you know, those very important markets that really every equity trader needs to be aware of each and every day. You know, what is the dollar index doing? Crude oil prices, Japanese yen, uh, interest rates, the gold market. But what Vantage Point's technology is able to do is really analyze and identify a lot more of those subtle market relationships because we know that some markets uh, trade in tandem with other markets, have a strong correlation. Some markets trade inversely to other markets. Some markets have leads and lags with other markets. And that's what this technology is able to do, analyze all of that data in real time and incorporate that information into predictive indicators that are able to allow traders to anticipate trend changes in the market market and really make much better trading decisions in the marketplace. So you see here that, you know, you've got things like the ETF, um, you know, the biotech ETF, the Russell 2000, power shares. Um, and you even, if you scroll down here, uh, we've even got uh, individual equities. So markets like, you know, other uh, technology stocks, services, healthcare companies. So, you know, this is what's really going on you know, under the hood, and there's actually two patents on this technology, uh, really able, you know, one of them being able to identify which markets are affecting the target market, and then weighing those relationships. Because again, you know, some markets trade in tandem, some are inversely correlated. And so that's what the software is doing to really help traders make much better trading decisions and know what to expect in a given market moving forward here. Now, let me thoroughly explain everything on the chart here so we understand how this works. Now, uh, on this chart, we are looking at daily bars and candles, these candlesticks here, uh, the green days being up days, red days being down days in the market. And against those daily bars and candles, you see that we have a blue line and a black line. Now, that black line that you see there on the chart, guys, that black line is a regular simple moving average. And I'm sure you're all familiar with this, right? So a simple moving average just takes the last, you know, for an example, let's say the last 10 close prices, uh, adds all those days together, uh, and then divides by 10. And so that's really all the calculation that goes into generating the value of that black line. Now, against that black line and the price data though, we also have a blue line there. Now, that blue line, is Vantage Point's proprietary predicted moving average. Now, before that line is plotted on the chart, it's analyzing those 30 global intermarkets that are known to affect, drive, and impact, in this case, the target market for the stock being traded. Now, once that blue line crosses above the black line, well, it's essentially a prediction, essentially saying that there's been a shift in the overall expected direction of the market. And what we wanna pay attention to is really the distance between this blue line and the black line, because what we're looking at is essentially a comparison between the actual market data, which is really just a summary of the market, the past 10 closed prices or whatever, um, and comparing that to this prediction, which is saying where are prices expected to go moving forward. Now, in addition to that predicted moving average, uh, you'll see that we actually have a, another indicator here at the bottom of the screen. Now, this indicator at the very bottom of the screen is extremely important, and it's called the predicted neural index. And it can only be a value of a one or a zero, very binary and extremely accurate and consistent output. 
and really allows traders to know what to anticipate as far as short-term strength or weakness. Um, essentially, this uh, indicator is looking out two trading days ahead. So uh, two trading days are about 48 hours into the future, anticipating that short-term strength or weakness. Now, when we pair that with our predicted moving average line, it really allows traders, again, to know exactly what to expect. So uh, when traders get into a market and recognize, hey, the blue line is crossed above the black line, they can get confirmation from that neural index to expect at least some strength over the next couple of days. And as long as that blue line remains above that black line, you want to go ahead and maintain that overall position in the market. You still want to remain bullish. And so we see here that if you get into the market, uh, this being all the way back at the beginning of uh, uh uh, August, you know, a lot of these great uh, financial and technology stocks that had really great rallies through uh, August, um, July and August, really. Um, you know, this market here in about 38 trading days has moved up about 51 percent. $9.99 here, $10 per share. And you know, this is only a $20 stock. So, you know, easily purchase a thousand shares, you're up about $10,000 on a single trade. And now, as long as that blue line remains above the black line, you're gonna go ahead and maintain that long position and until that blue line crosses below the black line, and essentially telling you that the direction has then changed with that predicted moving average moving below the actual you know, moving average, that simple moving average from the black line there. So let's go ahead and take a look at a, a few more opportunities here and uh, demonstrate how this works. Now, uh, here's Red Hat. So a more recent opportunity here. We see just how effective these tools are. Uh, blue line crosses above the black line uh, mid-September here. Neural index strongly here up at a one. So constantly forecasting strength over the next 48 hour period, 48 hours, strength, strength, strength. We get a gap up in the market. And this is why this is so important because you know you really need to be in position ahead of time to capture really the best moves in the market. Uh, you know, Last week we looked at Goodyear Tire, just gapping up and gapping up. But to get in on that move, you really had to get in when that directional change came through with the predicted moving averages and that neural index was confirming that directional move. So uh, we see here this market for uh, technology stock here moving higher um, with that blue line and black line with a lot of separation currently about 8.9% just in the past 11 trading days. So uh, easy opportunity to go ahead, lock in a stop, trail your stops up with the market and have a tremendous opportunity to make a lot of money on a, a really newer opportunity that just came through a couple weeks ago here. Uh, next opportunity here in Curis. So a biotechnology stock, again, uh, through July and August, just a lot of great opportunities in technology and healthcare, um, but we see exact same thing. We wanna keep this very, very simple. Blue line over black line, our neural index strongly up at a one, and we see that blue line maintaining above the black line saying, look, this market is expected to move higher. And sure enough, when all these tools are, are in confirmation saying, look, the trend is up in the short term, expect some strength as well. Uh, just getting a massive move higher in the market, tremendous trading opportunity, uh, uh, really a great opportunity to make a lot of money on a, an individual uh, trade here. Um, but we see here so far, market has moved up uh, about 40% in just the past 21 trading days. So 21 trading days, 40% move to the upside. And guys, this is stock trading at $1.80 a share. I mean, easily purchase 5,000, 10,000 shares of a stock like this, and you're making a significant amount of money. It was $7,000 on a 10,000 share purchase here. So huge opportunity there uh, in some biotechnology stocks. And uh, lastly, um, you know, I just wanted to mention, you know, July and August, we had so many great opportunities to the upside. And so a lot of those markets still trending higher. But, you know, when you have the ability to really identify these markets, you know, these fresh crossovers to the upside or to the downside, you can really go ahead and hedge that portfolio quite well so that when volatility really comes into the marketplace, you know, you're on the right side of your trades to be making money uh, while, you know, other traders are out there getting a little nervous. And, and freaking out and getting emotional with their positions. So we see here in Bridgepoint Education here, uh, cross over the downside, Neural Index strongly down here at a zero, telling traders, look, look to go ahead and short the market here. So far, this market's moved down about 14.5% in just the last 26 trading days. And you know what's probably even more important is you certainly don't want to be in the market uh, for days like this. And so this is why it's critical to have tools that are consistently accurate because you know every single day that you're in the market, you need to manage these positions, know what to expect to really get the most out of each and every trading opportunity. So uh, a really great opportunity here in Bridgepoint education to the downside and uh, 
just a, another great example of how traders are utilizing this technology and this approach to make better trading decisions day in and day out, really guide their decision making in a much more logical and, and profitable way. So. As always, thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave your comments or questions below. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Bye for now and best of luck in the market. Thanks.